Now, not far from there on Duck Creek Road in North Jackson, a home and business owner gave us a call. And when we got there, the road was flooded, his yard was flooded, and his garage with his work equipment flooded. He told me it's a problem that's just getting worse. For the first time ever, it's never gone in my garage like this, this far. Uh, and like I said, year by year, it's gotten worse. It started out just having a big stream across our driveway. Jolt Barklew runs a small business out of his home where he's lived for the last four years. He says any time a heavy rain comes through, this is what he comes home to. Flowing water in the front yard, a covered driveway, and water bubbling out of the pipes that should be draining water out to the road, but that's also flooded. But then I came home and found both my garages completely flooded, probably thousands of dollars in damage, uh, and I just started hustling around, got the family out, moving stuff around, piling stuff up, trying to save what we could. Except this time, he says it ruined thousands of dollars worth of work equipment. I have sanding equipment. I have floor installing equipment, uh, probably five or six hundred dollars worth of sandpaper, air tools. The ruined equipment won't put him out of business, but it does hurt him financially. When it finally hit my big garage with the equipment that uh, helps pay for my home, and support my family, that's when enough is enough. It's not just equipment he's worried about. He has a pony, chickens, and a goat in the backyard where there's also flooding. We have livestock that provide for us, and that's all in jeopardy due to neglect of probably cleaning out some pipes. He told me that he's reached out to the county about the flooding, but that they say it's a problem with his neighbor's ditch not being cleaned out. I hope they get out and go through the system and figure out where the problem is and, and fix it for us to save us, you know, thousands of dollars. As for now, Joel says his next step is saving what he can from the water. Start cleaning. That's all I can do. Now, I did reach out to the county, but it was after office hours, so I'm waiting to hear back about what's causing that flooding on Duck Creek and whether or not it's something the county can help with.